Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Adepodu. Thank you for always dropping by. It's really appreciated. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and always follow through with the videos. So I'm going to be taking through a short screen recording on how to develop uh, a website with system.io. Uh, so it's going to be very shorter than every other ones I've done on website development because I don't really use system.io, but I know about it and I just uh, deem it fit that I should add it to the video. So that for those who want to explore more, maybe into the affiliate marketing sector and other sectors of funnel development that want to do straight funnels and do things on it, they can actually use it. So without much ado, let's delve in. Now, um, I come to my Chrome and I search for system. It's not S-Y-S-T-E-M. No, it's S-Y-S-T-E-M-E -E dot I O. Now, um, I've done two videos earlier on. Uh, on how to create free websites on CAD and uh, on uh, strikingly.co which are much more very much flexible than this this is much more caging but you can also use it if you actually have the time to see it now one of the best part of system.io is the fact that you can use it for multiple purposes there are people who use it to develop sales funnel they are using it to cash out in affiliate marketing they use it to do a lot of things but basically what i am focusing it on here is on building website so let's go so once it loads, it asks you to either get your free account or sign in. So the first thing I want to do is to change it to desktop site. Now, for those who don't have our account, you can click on get my free site and they will ask you to put your email and you enter your free site. Um, but if you have an account already or maybe in time pass, you just some good and you log in, just click come here, click on sign in. So after you click on sign in, you click here and you click on this, then it brings me in because I already have uh, my account saved on uh, the Gmail before. It signs me in immediately. It signs me in immediately. So the next thing you want to do after it brings you here is to click on these three lines by your left hand side. There are plenty of options there. You have your dashboard, the contact, uh, you have the funnels as I like. You can use it to develop a sale funnel. You have emails, you have blogs, you have automations, you can automate from here. You have product you listed here, then your sale that you have made, that's where it shows up. But I'm not dealing with any of those. What we want to deal with is the website site. So what you want to do is to click on blogs. So it brings you here, which is uh, a, a blank site. Yeah, because I don't have any blog. So what I want to click on is create. So after you click on create, what you want to do is uh, give your blog a top name. I want to give it Daniel Adepodio, which is the name we have been using. So um, the next thing I want to do uh, is to put my URL part. The domain name that will always come is Big Daniel Adepodio, which is my mail dot system. Dot io so here is where i will add the domain part so what i want to do is to it will bring it out as big daniel.io forward slash whatever you put maybe i put daniel adepoju or you can decide to put your own uh, short form name your alias whatever you want to put Maybe you just put uh, slash digital D. So then you can pick a template. You know I'm a fan of templates. So let me just work with this template. Uh, the template is already selected. So after you have chosen all of those, you've set the name, you have done all of this, you've selected your template. What you want to do is click on save. So once it is saved, and your blog is successfully created, what you want to come here is to click on the name of the blog here, which is Daniel Adepocho, that name you see up there. Now, if you look at it, you see the homepage URL. If you click on this homepage URL and go and paste it somewhere, it will only bring out the template of what you have selected. It won't give you anything significant because you have not edited it. So we want to go ahead to our edit space now. So you click on this, which is the Daniel Adepoju. 
and it brings out uh, the sections for you. You have five posts inside it, but I don't want like to edit per post. I like to edit in pages because uh, that is always almost easy for me. So I have like four of them here, so I can edit one by one, one by one. We have the about, we have the contact, we have the home page, and we have the post list page. So what I want to click on the first is this about. So I click on the about and it takes me to where the about is. So once it brings me here, I start editing everything I need to edit. Note, it's because it's on phone. That's why it's showing a lot in um, vertical format and a lot of them looks long and they don't look really very, very beautiful. If you are editing with system, you have a lot of things to work with. So you can click and begin to edit, put your images, uh, select everything here and uh, put everything in place put everything in place um, change the format here click on the image uh, do you want to change the image whatever you want to do to it you uh, put it there so I uh, you edit everything you want to edit here so once you are done uh, with everything that needs to be done here the next thing you need to come up here is to what you click on save your changes you click on save your changes and everything you have saved will become permanent like that so you are done with section one uh, you can go to the next one uh, you click on the contact and you edit it your maybe your Facebook your Instagram and your TikTok or whatever uh, you get their links there, you get their links there. So have you seen here, action require, you put the URL, you put everything. So it's as simple as what you have been doing before, if you have been following uh, the courses so far. So I won't long want to stay too much on uh, system.io because um, it's actually a little bit more tasking than every other one because it's not in one place. You have to keep going and coming back, going and coming back. And after you are done, you don't really get the best of domain you want. I think that's one of the disadvantages of system.io. So thank you once again for dropping by. I really, really do appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also practice what you have learned. Thank you very much for dropping by again today. See you next time.